This book is entitled Personal Choice, and it's a selection of favorite recipes contributed by leading celebrities. So let's have a look who's on the contents table. We'll just peek inside. Now, here we go. All the famous stars from 1969 are in here. We've got Mary Quant, Rolf Harris, Simon D, Julie Christie, Ken Dodd, Lulu, blah, blah, blah. If you went to some of these people's houses, this is what they'd dish you up. So anyone, pick a celebrity. Pick a celebrity. Julie Christie. Julie Christie, okay. Let's have a look and see exactly what you'd get if you went to Julie Christie's house in 1969. Bit of pink paper there, what a giveaway. There she is, Julie Christie, big doe eyes, so sexy. And look, there's your first course, a lovely pear, an avocado pear, avocado vinaigrette. And over the page, we'll see what she'd give you for a main course. Well, what a surprise, look at that. It's boiled beef with horseradish dumplings. Now, I thought that Julie Christie was a bit of a vegetarian, actually, but never mind. She'd also finish off with a treacle pudding. A little bit low class, I think. Let's look for someone a little bit more upmarket. And here we have him. Look at that. What a hunk. It's Mr. Roger Moore, the saint. There he is. And what would Roger give you around his flat? Well, let's have a look over the page. Roger would give you a prawn cocktail, sweet and sour pork chops, and a raspberry ring. And I never knew that Roger Moore had a raspberry ring. Now, I don't want to look into that. What I do want to look into is the prawn cocktail featured here. Let's see if we can recreate it. Book goes down. And here you see, I have an array of equipment and ingredients. Now, the first thing we need to do is to shred some lettuce. Now, anyone can do this. It's very simple. You cut it into little strips, but not too long, or you'll get dangly dangly on your chin and you'll look like an oaf. Okay? So you get the lettuce and you put a little bit of salt, push, 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 and a little bit of pepper, push, push, push. That's called seasoning. And then you doof it, that's my term, into the glasses or the goblets. Boom, a lovely little nest for the prawns to lay on. Boom, a lovely little nest. And boom, a lovely little nest. Don't worry about the mess. Uh, secondly, and this is the only cooking bit really, the sauce, Mary Rose. Here we go. Now it's in this bowl. What have we got there? A big, large glob of mayonnaise. The red stuff is tomato puree. The red powder there is cayenne pepper. Ooh, spicy, spicy. We've got some red liquid. That's Tabasco. Ooh, mama, that's really hot. Day, plenty of sunshine coming my way. Zippity doo da, zippity day. And there you have it. Perfect pink and pecan. That's the sauce. So let's dot it into the goblets. Ooh, lovely. Almost like ice cream. One in there. Blob in there. And a big blob in there. That's the Mary Rose sauce. It's a prawn cocktail. What would it be without the prawns? Now look at this. That, my friends, is a prawn. That is a Roger Moore prawn. It's not a shrimp. It's big, it's fat, it's overdeveloped, and it's very heavy. Listen to this. Boo! Hear the sound of that? An overweight prawn dressing over the top. Drizzle. Oh, he ho, he ho. French. Oh, he ho, he ho. Oh, he ho, he ho. A little bit of French dressing. And you put a little bit of powder on the top. This time, it's paprika. It's a beautiful word, that, isn't it? Everybody can say that. Paprika, isn't it marvelous? There you go. Put a little dash of that. Oh, 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 it's stuck in the bottom. We'll do that later. Never mind. <laughs> but then, of course, you need the theatrical garnish, which is the prawn with its coat on. You see a little bit hard shell there. One on the lip. Oh, one on the lip. There's a bit of suicidal prawn there. Oh, it's like a sort of, uh, what do you call that? Beachy head for prawns, isn't it? And then um, we put a little slice of lemon there with a little, because it is Roger's favorite dish, prawn cocktail. It's got a British flag there on the corner there, and I think you all agree. I'm just going to get this back again here. Look at that. Can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference? I think not, except my prawns are fatter. Sorry, Roger, and a bit of spit on the top there, just for the essence. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's your prawn cocktail. All I need to do now is to make them disappear. And who better to help me than the world's leading magician, Mr. Reg Anderson. Tuck in, Reg. Enjoy yourself. Mm. And as for me, that just about winds up this show. But before I get my gnashes around my prawns, I'd like to thank all the guests that have been on the program, but especially our wonderful band, who are undubitably the most. Yes!